What's up, everybody? I'm trying to get to some light so it doesn't look like I'm hiding from my kids when secretly I am hiding from my kids. Um, anyways, you guys should be on week two. So we are. I'm on week two. You may be ahead. Maybe you join later. But tonight's call is really just going to be a support call for all of us um, to share tips, to share what's working. Um, I'm going to share with you guys what's working for me, and hopefully I can learn something from you guys about what you're doing that I can implement as well, because we all live busy lives. I know before um, I started this, I was in this rut that I was the busiest mom in the entire world. No one else in the entire universe was busier than me. But I made up my mind. I know Lisa, I heard her say on a story, I think it was like Saturday or something. If it's something you want, then no matter no matter what, you're going to put the work in and you're going to do it. Um, when this program came out, I was super excited. You guys know it's been a lot, a lot of um, elimination. And that's been hard, but I've decided it's something that I, I want. So it's something that I'm willing to do. So... My schedule, I don't know. You, and if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. Um, I'm a teacher, so I wake up at four o'clock in the morning to get my workout in like a crazy person <laughs> and um, get ready for work, work all day. We come home, we run a karate school um, two nights a week from four o'clock to nine o'clock at night. Um, I'm over the youth group at church on Wednesday nights, so I don't get home from church until about 8.30 on Wednesdays. And then we're playing softball any other time. So that's what it's like at my house right now. Um, I know several of you can relate. You're in ball season. Your kids are playing ball or whatnot, and you're working. So what I've been doing, I sacrifice a few hours on the weekends. This weekend I did Saturday because I just wanted to be lazy on Sunday. But I sacrificed a few hours on the weekend to get stuff prepped in bulk. And whenever I say prep in bulk, we have at my house, um, one of those, what is it called? It looks like one of those grills from the Japanese steakhouse. I can't figure out what they're called, a Blackstone. We have a Blackstone at my house. So my husband is in charge of the proteins. He is doing this with me. You guys, I don't know if your spouse is doing this with you, but if Lisa just had this look on her face, um, but if you can get your spouse on board or your family member, it just makes it so much easier because, you know, my husband, he's really big into meat. Like that's a big thing for me and like what kind of steak he's going to have. Oh yeah. My husband's down seven pounds too. That's so great. That's crazy how they're both down seven pounds in the first week. So I am letting him cook the protein. I'm like, okay, okay, if you cook, I'll make all of the side dishes. So um, I've been doing a lot of beans, seasoned beans and things like that for my sides and a few staples that I have in the house. So you guys have to go to Trader Joe's. That is where it's at. You have to go to Trader Joe's. They have the most amazing things. So we really like tacos at my house. Like raise your hand if you like tacos. I mean, who? everybody likes Mexican food, right? I'm obsessed with it. So jicama is a vegetable that we can have, your green container. And I found these jicama wraps at Trader Joe's. You guys, these are amazing. I take two of them. Two of them counts as a serving. So I take two wraps. And I just stack them together and I'll have like three, whatever. I'll put um, ground turkey meat in there. We had them for breakfast the other morning. Um, I made like breakfast burritos with them. They're so good and they're so easy to have on hand in your refrigerator. So seriously, you have to, you have to get these jicama wraps. Rose, I don't know. Has anybody ever tried these? These are amazing. I mean, it's just like, this is like the best thing ever. Like it makes it so easy to get your vegetables in because if you like to eat a lot of tacos, I mean, this is like free tacos. I mean, seriously, y'all, get these. Go to Trader Joe's and buy this. I drove, we're an hour from Trader Joe's. I had a girl, we, we my friends was going um, out of town. I was like, can you please pick this up at Trader Joe's? Another thing I got, um, my husband, he's not really into sweet potatoes. So 
I'm, I'm trying to be intentional on things that he likes to eat. Um, this is something I also found at Trader Joe's. It's roasted potatoes because you know you can have potatoes. Um, there's nothing in this. You have to be careful. So if you're looking at the ingredients, sometimes you'll find stuff that's got like all kind of crazy stuff in it. There's like really nothing in here. So I got this at Trader Joe's as well. It's just potatoes and it has peppers and onions in it. So this is something we're throwing in the air fryer. I believe in my air fryer, it makes life so much easier. So this would be a yellow for a few days. So I would throw that in there. Also, um, the brown rice, like the wild brown rice already like cooked. Um, this is great to have as well. So I, been keeping a lot of this right here in my pantry. Um, another, I have a sweet tooth and I'm just sharing some things that works for me. I'll let you guys talk. These are my favorite. I wanted to share my favorite things because I don't want to feel like I'm deprived. When I feel like I'm deprived, it's when I crave and I want something more, but I have a sweet tooth. I don't have a problem with like not eating red meat because I'm not, I don't really like steak. I know that's really weird, but I'm not really, I mean, I'll eat it, but I'm not a big meat eater. My thing is sweets. Um, so somebody was like, you have to try dates. So I found these dates right here. They're the Julie's. Um, this would be a purple. And I've been cutting them in half and um, putting a little bit of almond butter on it and sprinkling it with sea salt. And you can put some, and I put walnuts in it as well. So this would be a purple for your fruit. Um, and then your, your almond butter. I think that's what a spoon. And then blue if you put any nuts on it so this is amazing right here this right here will crave your sweet tooth and i also saw um if you guys have body one of the trainers she does the the cycle class her name's jenny um she also eats one of these every day for her pre-workout meal so she eats a date for her pre-workout meal so i thought that was pretty cool so this morning i was like i'm gonna have one of those for my pre-workout meal <laughs> and um it's just so good. It kind of reminds you of just like a cupcake or something because it's so moist and it's thick. So you feel like you're eating actual like cake or something. Um, and that was new for me, dates. Um, does anybody have any questions or you want to share like some of your favorite things? I know you guys have to have some favorite things. Oh, one more favorite thing. I like um, coffee is a big thing for me because um, I drink a pot of coffee every morning. I just, I like to hold it in my hand and it just like makes me warm and feel happy inside. <laughs> like I'm like an old lady. I want to sit and watch the news for 30 minutes. And since I've not been drinking coffee, I'm just like dressing out the door so early. Um, so I have replaced my coffee with like some hot tea in the mornings. Um, elderberry tea is what I've been drinking because I bought it at like a, a flea market thing. Um, the, the, um, yeah, the matcha green tea. I saw where you put that in the group, Nikki. Um, but I've been doing elderberry tea and it's it's really good. So those are some of my favorite things. I would love someone to unmute and share some of your favorite things and how you're making it work for you. Don't be shy. Lisa, what are you cooking? I see you cooking something. So that's what I was going to say. One of my favorite tips is to like bulk make right now I'm doing Brussels sprouts. Apparently I, <laughs> I yelled at by somebody at work for talking with the knife in my story the other day. So it's very it serious. Bulk <laughs> cook. <laughs> Everyone start bulk cooking. Um, but sweet potatoes. So I'll put them in and roast them, especially the Brussels sprouts roast. They're the best um, roasted. So I'll just do a whole bunch. So I have at least like five greens and just have them in the refrigerator. I like to, instead of trying to make it so intricate and making like these meals, I'll pick like one meal, one or two meals to make for the week, like meal meals. Like this week I did, um, I hang on my stuff up here. Um, would you, Lacey, give me a minute. Um, yeah, when I'm done. Chicken piccata and um, that tofu. I tried the tofu this week. The tofu, um, tofu like scramble that I did. Anyway, otherwise it's just like things that you can pair together. So I have a rotisserie chicken is great to grab a rotisserie chicken. And then that's so easy. It's done already. Just get the crap off of the top, the skin and save the pieces, throw it in the fridge. And I always have that to make a red out of whenever I need a red. Um, in the mornings I drink instead of coffee every morning, I'll do um, apple cider vinegar with hot water, honey, like a drop of honey. Um, and a splash of lemon. So that's like my morning drink that I have every day. 
Um, I actually started drinking it before lunch also. And it's kind of just like a tea. My husband found, like put that together for me when I was pregnant with one of the kids and I was sick and couldn't take any medicine, but I've been drinking it ever since. So that's like a great alternative to coffee in the morning. Um, I'll think of some more, but what has everybody got for us? So something that's worked for me um, with like feeding every two hours, it's hard for me to like do everything at once. So I've been just picking like one day where like I meal plan, which now it's kind of like what Lisa does. I just kind I don't do many recipes. I'm just kind of deciding like what veggies and protein I want. Um, and then like one day I'll do the grocery shopping and then the next day, I'll do the meal prepping. So that way it's like more manageable for me instead of like trying to like grocery shop and meal prep on the same day. Like that just, I don't have the time for that all in one day, but if I spread it out over like three days, it makes it easier. Um, and then something that I just did, I think yesterday or today, and I used to use it a while ago, um, but I, I don't know, I just stopped. But it's called, uh, and I think some of you use it, it's called Misfit Market or Misfits. Maybe it's just misfits.com. Um, and it's like organic fruit and veggies. I think they also did add some um, like meat to it as well. But check it out. Like they're organic. <laughs> Dave thinks I'm crazy. I bought organic strawberry, just one carton of organic strawberries yesterday for $10 at ShopRite. And he's like, you're freaking crazy. And I got two of them. He's like 20 bucks on freaking strawberries. Um, strawberry plants for $25. <laughs> he just said he bought, what, how many? Ten. Oh, 10 strawberry plants for 25 bucks. Anyways. Hey, Rose, can Dave see this? What I have in my hand, can he see me? Like, no, he's, he's cleaning okay. dishes. Well, this big, huge, I guess it would be, will this be a gallon or half a gallon thing of strawberries here? They're fresh here in North Carolina. $10 for this big, huge bucket. <laughs> Are they organic, though? Sure, why not? Ah! I mean, it's wrong in the liar. ground. Liar, you I'm liar. Like, <laughs> North Carolina, everything's organic. Um, yeah. With a little it's bit out. of um, pig fat on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you call it? <laughs> fat back. <laughs> There you go. A little bit of that back on your strawberries. Yeah. And something else I was going to share with you guys. So like I looked at like the protein, like whenever I was grocery shopping, I was just like buying some like random beans. Um, is it, I don't know how, if I say them right, right or wrong. Edamane, edamane, y'all know those green beans. Edamane. So I just Googled recipes for edamane. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I know I'm saying that wrong. Um, it's called what name? Edamane. Yeah, damn, that's, thank you. that's not how my husband was saying it. Anyways, and I found this cabbage salad um, and I posted it in the challenge group, you guys, and it stays fresh in the mason jars. And I've not really been stressing myself out counting 30 plants. Like I know I've had a, several challengers. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm only at like 15 plants. And I'm like, listen, the main thing is like you're eating enough and you're eating the right kind of foods. Don't let those little things stress you out and cause you, you, know, you to get off track. But there's so many vegetables in this salad jar, and I made these for my lunch. Um, I also keep cans of like black beans and chickpeas in my pantry to have on hand. That's easy. Um, Sunday, we had lunch at my mom's right after church, so I didn't have time to cook. So I keep cans of tuna in my pantry. Um, I'm not a picky eater, too. I would also like to add. I eat everything. Um, I use the Thrive Market for grocery shopping because we don't have a lot of healthy options like good grocery stores where I live at. And um, Daniel, because he's doing this with me, he said he would have to have barbecue sauce and ketchup. So the Primal Kitchen brand, have you guys ever heard of Primal Kitchen? Um, I found it's amazing. So like this barbecue sauce right here, there's nothing in it but like tomato paste, mustard, vinegar, vinegar, sea salt, and there's only one, no, there's zero added sugars in it. No added sugars in this barbecue sauce. So he's been using that for his chicken because he's a steak, he's like, he likes red meat. So he said if he was going to be eating a lot of chicken, he was going to have barbecue sauce. So Primal Kitchen, they, they actually have the ketchup as well. This is organic rose, organic I 
Tracy, I have that in my fridge. It's my favorite ketchup. Yes, yeah, so I got this. But I'm here. not I using just, it because it does have sugar. <laughs> it's only like it's zero added sugar, though. I would. I personally would still count that as a sugar. Well, it says Unless, zero. So I know uh, we're going with zero. I'm very we technical. Seven. We're in weight loss mode here. It says zero. We're taking it. Okay, this is a winner for me. Yeah, follow this up is zero. zero. It is. Yes, <laughs> whatever this level is. I, agree. Well, I mean, shouldn't put a lie. I will call the government. And then the same thing for ranch dressing. Um, oh, and then this mayonnaise. I'm a huge mayonnaise lover, and they make mayonnaise also. Have you tried their mayonnaise rose? Uh, I have, and but I haven't had it in a while. But they have really good, like. Uh, I think they have like a ranch mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Uh, this, yeah, this is chipotle lime. Yeah, they have really cool like fun. flavors and seasonings and stuff. Yes, I'm telling you guys, look up that brand Primal Kitchen. Um, if you have like a Publix grocery store near you, I know they sell it, but Thrive, uh, no, Primal Kitchen, look up that brand. They have, they have a lot of um, good condiments that you can stock your pantry with. And that was like, that was something that if my husband was going to do it with me. He was like, I have to have ketchup. I'm, I must have barbecue sauce. So that's something that we've done. And he has seen a lot of success. I have as well. Um, also, if you guys look up fixate, like I don't look anywhere else for my recipes. There are hundreds of recipes on fixate um, on Beachbody on demand. That's where I get every single one of my recipes from, but they also have a recipe for barbecue sauce and it's really good so we just make our own um it's not hard to do either you do it on the stove top and at least you know what's in it like obviously that's a really good brand too but it's also simple to make it and don't don't um not use the beach body on demand the fixate all the recipes i mean i even started printing them out because i like to kind of have it in front of me when i'm cooking so there's so many good ones here. I just, um, the spices too. I make all my dressings, all my spices. They're all in there. This, this is the Cajun rub. They have like their taco seasoning, everything. Um, the chili lime chicken. If you guys didn't make that yet, you have to make that because the mango salsa is so good. Um, almond crusted chicken. That is like really good. If you haven't made that yet, also one of our favorites. Have you done the most, ha the must have meatloaf? Is that what it's called? Must have meatloaf? I don't like meatloaf, so. Uh, well, I made it with turkey meat, you guys, and the meatloaf calls for, um, it calls for like the, the breadcrumbs in it, but um, I'm from the South, so we know that when we make, subs when we, we can substitute anything in meatloaf for bread, and we use oatmeal. I don't know if you guys have ever used oats in your meatloaf, but I use, I use the fixate recipe, so I wanted to try, like Lisa said, use those recipes there, um, and I tried the, the, I think it's must have meatloaf for fixate, and I made it, I like doubled the recipe, here's some right here still lifting this big bowl, and like we just scoop it out for supper, and Daniel said it was amazing, so I used my, I used, yeah, I, I just added the gluten-free oats in place of um, the panko breadcrumb, or whatever that was, um, but it is amazing and it's got tomato paste carrots onions peppers stuff like that in it um oh i have so a cooking question so um i made the chicken piccata last night if it calls for a certain anybody that knows this answer i don't know um if it calls for a certain type of flour like that just said gluten-free flour and i ended up using a uh, brown rice flour can I do that? Like, I mean, it tasted fine, but can you, in a recipe, if it calls for a certain flour, can you change that or will it change like the consistency of the meal you're cooking? Does anybody know that answer? Did you say you have already done it and it was fine? I mean, yeah, but that I might've just got lucky. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I think in a lot of stuff, especially like, but if it's bacon, like it's supposed to rise, like in brownies or different things like that. I think that's when it makes a huge difference. I agree. Yeah, I would. I think you could probably quickly Google because that's what I'll do. Is what's a substitute for the flour? I bet you you might just have to add something else in it. Like for an almond bread um, recipe, I have there. They say for like two tablespoons of coconut flour mixed in with almond flour, and they say if you don't have coconut flour, add extra almond flour, like a certain measurement. So I feel like you might have to have a small substitute depending on what you're making. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. So 
So it, it turned out good at least. So <laughs> maybe you can yeah. I didn't know for certain recipes, like if it has to be that, you know. But, yeah, I made the chicken piccata with almond flour and it came out really good still. So oh good. Well, look at that. We're all getting all our different flowers in here. <laughs> oh, still making greens. I came up short on a green yesterday. Is anybody else like still cooking greens? And I've noticed yeah. a difference, everyone. I've noticed a difference in my non-cooked veggies. I definitely, my stomach definitely feels some type of way for my salads after lunch than I did last week, which is really weird, right? I haven't, I haven't been able to tell the difference with that. I was more bloated last week than I was this week. I like, I'm, I'm Lisa, more are you going to continue eating salads? Well, all the ones that are prepped in my refrigerator, I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but we'll see. I was going to wait and just see. Maybe I was like, maybe it was, I don't know, maybe it was something. But oh, plus, I also had the tofu meal. That was new to me. So, did you like it? I mean, like, I cooked it in pineapples you know so it was good but i feel like maybe it was everything but it was really good to be honest i got a question how do you guys feel about the um i'm a huge recover fan i love the orange but i know that's way so we can't have that um but like if you do the vegan recover do you feel like you're okay with that as long as you count it as um you know the, the added sugars or whatever just count the added sugars because it's vegan or Rose, would you say like, stay away from it? Like, what would you say? I mean, I love recover. So when I work out, when I start working out again, I'll definitely be adding that in and I'll yeah, count did. the added sugars. Yeah. Would you just count it as a red? Like as a pro, cause like, I'm, cause I get four red. So like, I'm typically doing my proteins, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So today it came in the mail and I was like looking at it and I was like, Ooh, I really want something sweet. So I did it. Like now I'm asking like, is <laughs> I always um, feel like it's a freebie. Always a free, yeah. You can't count yeah. that. As a I counted it as a protein, so <laughs> my chicken so, uh, I'll count as a protein, but the recover, I I say freebie. Yeah, so good, and I can really tell a huge difference when I'm drinking recover. Um, sorry, I'm taking my hair down. I can really tell a huge difference when I drink the recover. I mean, I seriously can tell a difference. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, like when I first started taking that, like my, I, I could just see the better like definition in my muscles yeah. than in my like before and after pictures from doing a workout program that I didn't use recover for. Yeah. So I think it's, yeah, definitely has its place. Um, okay. So we can have recover and we don't have to count it. Just count the sugars in it. Sugars you have to count, yeah, but not. Can we a talk about the sugars because I'm a little confused, but being that we're on sugars. So I thought it was only like the added, like added sugar up to 10 grams of added sugar. But so let's say, hold on one second. I'm going to get the Shakeology. Um, so Shakeology has total sugar, seven grams, and then includes five grams of added sugar. So how would I count that? The five, right? The added just sugar. Just five. Yeah. Okay, right? so we're just counting the added sugars, not the total sugars. Well, Rose counted an invisible sugar. I mean, in ketchup I, I am a little, <laughs> I'm crazy with things. So personally, like, Shakeology is like the only thing that I'm having that has any added sugar. So that's why, like, in my mind, I, I would count the seven. Um, but if, does anybody remember like verbatim, like from the videos, <laughs> like what would Autumn I, say? I thought it just said like up to 10 grams of added sugar a day. Yeah, per day. I that's the way I took it. Added sugars per day. So, like for example, if I have um, recover, which is six six grams of added sugar, and I have Shakeology, which is seven, that would put me over my sugars for the day. So I wouldn't be able to have both of those in the same day. I would need to choose. Okay, which one of these am I going to have? Because that would be over 10, 10 grams for the entire day. That's the way I I take it. Yeah, and also think, guys, too. Like if you're one or two grams over like it's not 
it's not going to make or break anything. You know what I mean? So I would say like, whatever you're doing, just stick with it. And then if you want to, you know, do a second round and, and change it, like, you know what I mean? Like, so just stick with whatever you are doing, if that's working for you, if not, you can always change it up. Um, and then I did want to, before I have to run upstairs and put the baby down, but before I do, um, I did want to talk about, you know, weight loss. Cause I know people get really hung up, especially like the first week. Yes. You're, you'll probably lose a little bit more just because it's something new. It's different. You're taking, you know, if you've eaten a lot of sugars and carbs before you're going to be dropping, um, a little bit more weight just from, you know, like water weight that carbs, um, carbs have to have a water molecule attached to it, like in order to be in your body. So that's why in the first week you might see more loss. And then, you know, we're in the second week now, if you're kind of following along with us, um, you might not see as much weight loss as the first week, or like Autumn says, like, or as you wanted to, your body's kind of going like, Hey, like, what the heck are you doing here? Like, I like everything like status quo, like stop messing with me. Um, and that's where you have to just have that long set, long-term mindset with this. Um, you know, it, we don't want to make, it, it's not about a quick fix, right? It's about learning tools. Maybe you're not going to do this program forever, but it's going to give you some tools that you can, you know, use for your life and make it a little bit better decisions with your habits. You know what I mean? So really think like beyond just two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, like really look at it as a long-term solution, whether you use all of the tools or, or just a little bit of them. Um, and then if you feel like oh, I really could be losing more weight, like I, I always just give a gut check, right? Like, are you actually eating all your containers? And I did want to mention this too. If you are hungry, guys, go up a bracket. Like I started at plan B and I think I'm at plan D. Like I'm breastfeeding, I'm freaking hungry as anything. And I'm not going to be like, oh, well, the equation said I should be here. I didn't do weight loss. Um, mode I just did like you know as is and um I'm freaking hungry so eat because if your body is is just so hungry that's actually sending out a stress hormone so it's actually working against you right you can always go up a bracket if you feel good there great do that for a little bit and then you can move back down if you want to, if you're not seeing like the weight loss progress that you are, that, that you want. But with that, um, that stress response from being hungry, that actually, you know, sends out cortisol to your body and that actually holds on to fat, which holds on to weight, right? So um, just be very mindful of the stress, whether it's like physical stress from being hungry or physical stress from doing too much um, workouts because I know some people aren't following four weeks of um, or four weeks for everybody. Just be mindful of what you're doing, right? Are you getting enough water in? Are you, you know, having all your containers? And same thing with what Tracy said in the beginning too is like, all right, guys, if you're if you can't get to thirty um, plants, like it's okay. You know what I mean? There's some things that you can really stick by and other things you just have to kind of make peace with, right? But really look at this as that long-term solution and not just two, three, four weeks. So that was my, that's what I wanted to say for tonight, my little spiel. And yeah, to add on what Rose just said, not, it's not the main focus is weight loss. I mean, yes, you're gonna lose weight, like she said, but really think about what you're doing throughout this process, like really healing your gut and cleaning it out and getting it all fixed and, you know, kind of becoming like a new person from the inside out, um, realistically. But that is the main reason that we're doing this so that then we can absorb nutrients better and um, get rid of the waste better and the fats and everything, all the technical stuff that I can't say off the top of my head like Rose can but um 
that's our main focus of being here. So yes, we'll lose some weight, but just remember if you don't see any weight loss or you don't see any inches or anything, um, just keep that in mind. Yeah, like my personal, the best thing that's happened to me is my sleep. Like I kind of sleep in out like this with one eye open and I have been like in a coma. Like I'm literally having to like force myself out of the bed because I'm in that deep sleep and I never, I never get into that deep sleep. And it's just making me feel so much better in my day. I mean, I know it's, you know, I know it's from healing my gut and everything that I'm doing, um, uh, what would you guys like if you don't want to talk like type in the comments um one take like one thing one improvement that you've seen in yourself like what's been the biggest takeaway mine has been improved sleep um that that's mine so I would love to hear from you guys um what's your improvement is like what's your take what's what's the the, the biggest change you've seen so far Mine is probably the energy. I have more energy than I ever have now. And then the sleep's better. The circles, I still got some circles under my eyes, but they are nothing like they were. They were way down here. So I'm happy about all that. Do you have a picture of like what your circles look like before and what they look like now? That would be cool to compare to. No, without no filter, no. <laughs> <laughs> Flatter stomach. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about anything? Lisa, I think you're muted. You were trying to talk. I was just going to say, take progress pictures too, because when you go to win the money from Beachbody, um, you could win like 500 bucks. Um, a couple of us have won that before or a thousand dollars. It goes all the way up to a hundred grand. So they do ask for progress photos throughout. So just take them. You don't have to post them. You don't have to share them if you don't want to, but take them for yourself and um, maybe to win the big bucks. Where do you go for that? That's on the yeah, website, can, right? It's beachbodychallenge.com. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it can just be of you in your face. It can be you in a hoodie. It can be any two pictures, um, but you're going to get a free t-shirt when you finish this. I think it's a t-shirt that, that you'll get. So um, make sure you have two pictures to submit your results. And if you have a me by a certain date, there will be a t-shirt that you get. I'm almost, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure <laughs> there's a free t-shirt. I was going to say that since most of us are girls on here, but I um, specifically um, wanted to do this program to kind of help with my hormone imbalance. Um, some of you who follow me, I've gone through infertility and getting back on track with my hormones after taking treatments has really been a struggle. And I just got my period this week. And I will say that I feel much better. It's not a huge drastic change, but it's definitely lighter. I'm not having as bad of cramps um, and definitely not as bad of bloating. Um, so that's a win in my book. <laughs> so yay. I was going to say the same exact thing. I got my period at the same time as we, we started, or no, a few days in. After I got rid of all the migraines, then I got my period. It was like one thing after another. And wow. it was so much better. I didn't have any cramping or anything. I think that was the best part about it. I might That's, do it yeah. every, I might keep this lifelong just because of that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Yay. Oh, and mocktails too. Mocktails are great for anybody that feels like they need a drink. Um, because I know even on Friday I was driving home from work and I was like, I could really go for a glass of wine right now. But um, just make yourself a mocktail and it still feels good. I don't know if anybody else felt like this, but I realize I'm more thirsty. Like I'm drinking way more water now. Um, I went through like six, seven water bottles in one day. And normally I like struggle with drinking water. Um, so I don't know. I just feel more thirsty. Sometimes they say like, sometimes when you're thirsty, you think you're hungry, but you're not. So I'm definitely realizing that the water intake is like A1 right now. I felt the same. I thought it was because I was adding lemon. I'm like, am I, do I have to drink more? But yeah, I agree. Like, it's like I can't get enough.
Anyone? Everybody's good. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so water Wednesday. Y'all have an excuse to drink more. <laughs> Check in with the bod group too. There's always um, you know, posts in there, daily posts and tips for everyone. So make sure that you check that, log your stuff, log your shakes, log your workouts. Yeah, whenever I work in the morning and I post my picture, I want you guys to say, good job, Tracy. Like, that makes me feel good. I will tell you good job, but I want you to tell me good job, too. All right, you got it, Tracy. Are they posting recipes in the bot, in the bot group? No, right? You know, I mean, sometimes mine the other day well what i'm doing for my meal prep on sundays i post my weekend recipes that's what i do oh yeah no i'm spoiled and used to you guys like doing like a, a whole weekly like idea plan but they're not doing that in this one right there, no, was, in the there is something in there yeah yeah that's in the file section yeah there's one so far i think okay one like uh it had like breakfast and shakes and all that in it yeah and then um and then share whatever on Wednesday, tomorrow. Um, I think tomorrow's post is um, to share your meals throughout the day. So like take photos and then under that thread, share your meals throughout the day, just so people can look at it and get ideas. Um, and I'll use them in my story. So um, definitely share whatever you're making, even if it's like crazy. Like one day I know I had like a bag of like cabbage that I cooked with a bag of carrots that I cooked last week. I was like, I don't know what the hell this is, but I made a meal out of it. Um, or even if it looks pretty, just share your meals under that thread tomorrow, I believe. It'll be up in the morning. And one last thing, don't forget your fermented veggies three times a week. That's one of the, the rules of the program. So if you eat a fermented veggie tomorrow, post it in the thread that Lisa does. Don't forget that. All right. You guys have a good night. Everybody good? <laughs> yeah. Thank all you. All hearts clear. All hearts clear. <laughs> God bless you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody.